only through patience are great things accomplished. If someone hurts you, then don't be upset, as it's the law of nature that the trees with the sweetest fruits are beaten the most. The biggest shame is to mock at something that you have in yourself. Two things define you, your patience when you have nothing and your attitude when you have everything. Do not let your difficulties fill you with anxiety. After all, it is only the darkest nights that the stars shine more brilliantly. The first to apologize is the bravest. The first to forgive is the strongest. The first to forget is the happiest. Be obscure and do not attempt to be famous. Do not elevate yourself in order to be remembered. Learn and conceal. Find safety in silence. You will please the righteous people and you will outrage the wicked. Don't develop a friendship with the enemy of your friend. Otherwise, your friend will turn into an enemy. Treat people the way you want to be treated. When you are unable to resolve something through trying and praying, leave the decision to God, as God always decides better for his followers. There is peace and solitude away from the evils of people. Blessed is he whose own faults keep him from seeing the faults of others. Surely silence can sometimes be the most eloquent reply. Work for a better life as if you live forever, and work for a better end as if you die tomorrow. My Lord, you know me better than I know myself. He who loves you forbids you from committing sin. Aim to live in this world without allowing the world to live inside you, because when a boat sits on water, it sails perfectly, but when water enters inside the boat, it sinks. Books are gardens of the knowledgeable. If you want to know where your heart is, see where your mind goes when it wanders. Hearts of people are like wild beasts. They attach themselves to those who love and train them. Forgiveness is the best revenge. You should have no hope in anyone but God. Meet the people in such a manner that if you die, they should weep for you, and if you live, they should long for you. There is a key to every door and a dawn to every dark night. When words come from the heart of anyone, they find a place in the heart of another. The most ignorant of those who are ignorant is the one who trips over the same stone twice. Let go of what has passed. Goodness towards one's parents is the greatest duty. The richest of the rich is one who is not a prisoner to greed. Let go of anything that brings you stress and sorrow. Gold is tested with fire, and the believer is tested with trials. When you speak, be truthful. Nobility in three traits, being generous when you have little to give, tolerating without being humiliated, and abstaining from asking for favors. The nourishment of the body is food while the nourishment of the soul is feeding others. Modesty is the means to all beauty.
keep your thoughts cleaner than pure water. As water drops make a river, thoughts make character and faith. Do not follow the majority, follow the truth. Leave alone what does not concern you, and leave alone what does not belong to you. The winner is the one who sells his world for his hereafter. Wakefulness is consciousness. See the bad inside yourself and see the good inside others. Nothing hurts a good soul and a kind heart more than to live amongst people who cannot understand it. Remember that people are of two kinds. They are either your brothers in religion or your brothers in mankind. Quite often, a tongue destroys a person. A person is weighed by his speech but only valued by his action. Never let anything occupy you from working for the hereafter, for indeed the time is short. Do not be a slave to others when God has created you free. The days of life pass away like clouds, so do good while you are alive. Of all the follies, the greatest is to love the world. Opportunity is swift of flight, but slow to return. The happiest man is he to whom God has given a good wife. He who knows himself knows God. The disease of the heart is worse than the disease of the body. The fight against one's desires is the greatest of all fights. The strongest amongst you is he who subdues his self. Wealth and greed are the roots of all evils. Riches without faith are the greatest poverty. A man's worth depends upon the nobility of his aspirations. Knowledge enlivens the soul. The sum total of excellence is knowledge. To respect the learned is to respect God. Generosity hides shortcomings. The wealth of a miser is as useless as a pebble. Desire is one's most inveterate enemy. Every breath of man brings him nearer to death. People are asleep as long as they are alive. They are awakened when they die. Patience is the fruit of faith. A man's glory from his virtue is greater than the glory of his pedigree. A man's behavior is the index of his mind. Courtesy costs nothing but buys everything. Clemency graces power. Jealousy devours virtue as fire devours fuel. Forgiveness is the crown of greatness. Every arrow does not hit the mark, not every prayer granted. Fear none but your sins. He who praises you murders you. A man who praises himself displays his deficiency of intellect. Honor your parents and your sons will honor you. A man is hid under his tongue. 
the tongue of a wise man lies behind his heart. The tongue pierces deeper than the spear. He who purifies his heart from doubt is a believer. The opinion of a wise man is an oracle. To seek counsel is to go to the fountain of guidance. Association with a fool is tyrannical to the soul. God hastens the fall of tyrants. Tyranny leads to moral cowardice. A tyrant's success is his moral defeat. A wise enemy is better than a foolish friend. Silence is the best reply to a fool. Speech is like a medicine, a small dose of which cures, but an axis of which kills. To assist the wrong is to oppress the right. Sinning is a disease, repentance is its medicine, and abstinence from it is a sure cure. Sorrow makes a man old before his time. Pride impedes progress and mars greatness. To forgive is the crown of greatness. He who understands humanity seeks solitude. As a man's wisdom increases, so his desire to speak decreases. The greatest sin is the sin that the sinner considers to be ordinary. Finding fault in others is one's greatest fault.